Today we're learning Eric Satie's Gymnopédie, number one. This is the third part, the third tutorial. I'll link to the second one, and I guess the first one above this keyboard. The part we're uh, learning today sounds like this. And from there, it's going to go on. It's a really pretty part that goes after that. But anyway, the part we're learning today is a little bit odd. I'm going to teach it to you in a way that hopefully will help you get through this quickly. It is going to take some time to get the shapes in your hands. They're a little bit awkward. So the first thing I want to point out is that your left hand starts the section by playing a really low A. And at the same time that you do that, at the exact same time that you do that, your right hand starts the little melody section. The melody section sounds like this. And so we're going to just learn that melody section, but I wanted to point out to you that it starts at the same time that your left hand plays this low A, and that's the last time your left hand is going to play this low A for, that, for this section. It's going to be bouncing to chords like it normally does, but every other time it's going to be on this D. But we'll get to that in a second. So your left hand plays that low A as your right hand plays an A that is three octaves higher. Okay, so just that much. Then your right hand is going to go on and play this melody, which is like this. A, B, C natural, E, D, B, D, C, B, D. And it's going to hold that. So that first section, one more time, the first melody with the right section, um, I'll play it and say the note names. A, B, C, E, D, B, D, C, B, D, two, three, four, five. Um, and I'm going to actually show you the left hand now. The, the, the next, this tutorial includes another part that has a melody section. But we're going to learn that in a second after I show you some of this left hand stuff. So you've got that going on in your right hand. And that is happening over this bouncing pattern that you've pro you're probably familiar by now with in your left hand. So you play that low A and that A up here. And on the second note that you play with your right hand in that melody part, you're going to bounce, you're going to jump up here and play an A minor chord so with your left hand. And that's way up here, two octaves higher. It's an A, a C and an E with your left hand. So watch these first little series. Jump up here, keep going with the melody. On the fourth note that your melody your right hand plays, you're gonna jump down here to this D and jump up here. So now you're at, and it's gonna sound like this. On and on. So what I want you to want to point out is now that you've got to this D with your left hand, that's the note that you're going to keep returning to on the bounce for this whole section, which is actually going to help it uh, make it easier for you to learn this part. It's actually a great thing because there's a lot of confusing stuff. Okay, so we've got, then we've got this D, and when you jump up here for the next chord, you're actually going to be playing a G, a B, and an E. And that's right when your right hand is playing this D. So watch again. Okay, back up to this D, and now you're bouncing back down to this uh, D with your left hand. Now this time, what I want you to do is to realize that the note, you, the chord you played before uh, was like this E minor inverted chord. It's a G, a B, and an E, like this, right? Now, after you play that chord the first time, you jump down here to this D, and you come back up here, and you're basically playing that chord again, but you're adding a D in the left hand. And uh, so that's going to sort of make things a little bit strange. Um, the other thing that is interesting is that this is a very difficult chord to play. And I recommend that you play it with this fingering, 5, th uh, 3, 2, and 1 from the bottom to the top with your left hand like that, okay? 
so take a second to look at what that is. Your thumb, your pointer, middle finger, and pinky on those four notes. And what I think will help you memorize this section is to, when you get to that part, immediately think about, make this hand shape, like make this hand shape before you get here, and think about sliding it into these two notes, this G and the B, and hopefully if you've, if you've gotten good at quickly making that, that shape with your hand, kind of like a spider, I'm gonna to refer to spider shapes for this tutorial because there's like a couple of different spider shapes. So think about this as spider shape one. You've got D, spider shape one, that's that chord. Okay, the chord series that follows after is gonna be another spider shape. So take a second to look at this. The one that comes after is gonna be kind of like you slid the whole thing down one white note, but then also switched this note to here. Okay, so that's confusing, it is. So you're gonna to have to take some, some time to learn that. So you've got D here, I'll show you that spider shape first. D, spider shape, make your hand nice and quick. Boom. You're gonna jump back down to this D, so we're kind of forgetting about the right hand for now. Jump back down to this D. And you're gonna make another spider shape. And this spider shape is gonna be one that looks kind of like this. So you've got like your, the fingering that I recommend using is your pinky, your ring finger, your um, pointer, and your thumb. And you're playing C, E, A, and D. So that's the next chord that you need to know. The one that comes after that, so we're gonna bounce back down there. You can probably predict that. We're gonna come down there, we're gonna bounce there. And the chord we're gonna come back is almost this exact same chord. The only difference is with your three finger, you're gonna kind of reach up here and play it in F sharp. So you play D and then you jump, play D, jump back up here, play that F sharp. I'm getting my finger out of the way so you can see, but this will probably <laughs> be out here. Okay, so let me show you those three, that three chord series. It's pretty tricky and I'll put it into context for you a little bit. But you've got this D, spider shape one, Okay, go back to that D, spider shape two, and everything is sort of down a little bit. Back to that D, spider shape three. Okay, and that's the first sort of half of the section. Okay, so let me put that into context for you with the right hand, all right? So if the right hand is confusing, you can ignore it for now and just look at the left hand. So this is the part that leads into that. This is like, before the spider shape, the pre-spider shape. Now here comes spider shape, right here. Spider shape two. Spider shape three. All right, so that's the first half. Uh, it gets, well, it's actually pretty similar for the rest. There is, there's similarities. The next part is going to go on and you're going to move your thumb up to where your your forefinger and your right hand just left off this D, okay? Because what comes after in the right hand is this. So that's the part you're just gonna wanna learn. And you can learn the right hand and the left hand separately, by the way. In fact, that's a good way to do it. You really probably wanna be looking at your left hand while you're playing this part. So your right hand, it's good if it can be automatic, if you just remember where the notes are, okay? So in the right hand, you're playing a D, E, F natural, G, down to a C, C, D, E, D, jump down to, let's skip over to this B, B, back up to that D, and you're going to hold that for five, three, four, five, and then, ba, 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 da, 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 after this part, that's pretty much the end of the part I'm going to teach you, you basically will play that D again, though, to lead you into the next part. But you'll figure that part out, especially if you're looking at the music. Um, okay, so while the right hand is playing that, your left hand is doing some bouncy stuff as usual. So let's take a look at what it's doing. So you're leading into this. On the second note that your right hand plays, you're gonna start the bouncing sequence by playing a low D with your left hand jump all the way up here and you're gonna play an, an inverted F chord you've got a C and F okay so let's take a look again okay the right hand continues on jump back down and get that D and then when you jump down to this C with your right hand you're playing a C chord a um, sorry an a minor chord in your left hand a C and E you continue on with your right hand, jump back down here, get that D, doing a, that same spider chord now, 
from before. Spider chord one. Get that D. Spider chord two. And now spider chord three coming out. And then that lead in. And then the next part will be the next part. So if you think about those three spider chords, those are the hardest part. I don't know why I'm calling them spider chords, but my hand feels like a spider and it actually kind of is tough to do with your hand. That will definitely help you get through two passages in this um, part that's pretty tricky. So let me show you one more time from top to bottom. I'll just sort of play through it and talk you through it as I go. And then you're going to have to practice a ton. <laughs> but it's fun. Anyway, this is the part that we're learning. And you start down on this A. Play an A minor chord. Now, for the rest of the time, you're bouncing on this D. Playing this, like, pre-spider chord. Now, spider chord, right here. Spider chord two. This is being held while you play spider chord three. Move your thumb. Now, you're gonna jump up here, it's kind of big, to an F, inverted F chord. Back to that D, A minor chord, while the right hand jumps to a C. Get ready for spider chord one. Spider chord two. While this is being held, you're finishing up with spider chord three. And on to the next part. So that's it. That's the tutorial. I really hope it helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for part four coming up soon.